also want to thank our boys and girls in blue. Our police... Today we had a, a rally for uh, small businesses in Oceanside. Lou Yerido and dozens of others gathered outside his gym in Oceanside today, demanding the right to reopen right now. It's about the right to work and the right to feed your families. And I don't care if you're a blue or red, you have to work and you have to feed your families. Some people who showed up to protest the coronavirus restrictions had Trump flags and hats, but Yerdell says this fight is not about politics. I, I didn't want that when I addressed the crowd beating. I, I didn't want it to be about Trump. I didn't want it to be about Newsom. I couldn't stop people from showing up the signs because it's their, it's their freedom of expression. Yerdell was handcuffed and cited over the weekend for staying open in violation of county health orders. Today he opened his gym once again and says he's taking precautions. We're following very strict protocols here. Uh, we didn't get any guidance from California as to what we can use, so we kind of followed Texas and a few states that they have limited capacity at 25 percent. So I said, well, you know, we're a liberal state, so I'll do 20 percent, you know, make it a little stricter. Governor Gavin Newsom says gyms will reopen under phase three of the state's plan to ease restrictions. But Yerdell says he can't wait anymore. If he doesn't open, he could lose his business. I think this is a time for small businesses to be courageous in the face of a fear of citations or whatever threats that people are made. You have to have the courage to stand up and fight for your right to work. Uridel says his gym is a community where people can relieve stress and improve their mental health and therefore should be considered an essential business that's able to be open. We are a gym for everybody. We are classified as what you call a hardcore gym. Now a hardcore gym is what the definition of that is, is people that want results. While there was no sign of Oceanside Police while we were out there, a spokesman says businesses open in violation of county and state health orders are subject to citation. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.